is uh, Mark Spivey today, and we're at the um, RFID Live 2015. And we're today at the Impinge booth, and we're speaking with Craig Cotton, Vice President of Marketing and New Product Development. And Craig is going to take us through a new display at the uh, Impinge booth this year, and it's the uh, healthcare vertical market. And Craig is going to tell us a little bit about how the new X ray portal, X ray antenna, and uh, how that works with the asset tracking and inventory tracking with Impinge. So Craig, I'll let you uh, take it away. Yeah, thanks Mark, we're excited. Uh, I think this might be the first time that we've shown healthcare uh, at, a, at a big event. Uh, this week we're also, interestingly, at the HIMSS uh, healthcare show in Chicago, uh, okay. showing uh, X-Ray uh, at that show. And healthcare for decades has wanted to track their key assets. Uh, nothing is more important than the doctors and the nurses. So exactly. they want to track them, and that's been done historically with active tags and um, using Wi-Fi, and it's quite expensive, and the tags are 50 or $60, right. and I have to change the batteries periodically, and so the ability to do that with passive uh, RAIN RFID technology is, is very attractive to them, and the good news is the technology is now to the point where uh, that works quite effectively. So what we're showing here is tracking key assets, not people, but um, we've got wheelchairs, IV pumps, are things that tend to get hoarded or that are hard exactly. to find in a, in a hospital or a healthcare facility. So our ability to track those very quickly you know, on a map um, is, is very powerful. Also, more critical assets like a defibrillator, if somebody is having a heart attack or something like that is important. Yep. And then we're also showing the uh, consumables or inventory management of device, of, of um, IV bags and medications and things like that is really critical in a hospital as well. If I don't do, it's just like a retailer, if I don't do effective inventory management, then I either don't have enough or I have too much. Uh, in healthcare, having too much might mean that it expires and I have to discard it before I could use it and it might impact uh, patient care. So yeah, we're pretty excited and the healthcare industry is, sure. is ready as well. That's always been a market for the active, as you said, and it, which is a very expensive and, and not maybe as accurate as this might be. Uh, I don't think it's. This is going to be necessarily more oh, okay. accurate, but yeah. uh, you know, you'll take an ID badge. It'll have a, a passive inlay built into the badge. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a small fraction of the cost of what a uh, an active tag would cost. Right. Um, orders of magnitude less. I never have to replace uh, any of the batteries in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're seeing is. You know, with our X-ray, of course, we can get within one to one and a half meters. Okay. And if I'm trying to find a, an IV uh, pump or a wheelchair or track and know where my doctors and nurses are, uh, that's certainly well within the tolerance that they're looking for. Okay. The other thing uh, that's important in healthcare is hand washing compliance. For, you know, the, the recent Ebola crisis right. has uh, shined some um, new light on the need to try to restrict or reduce infections. Mm -hmm. uh, they're called hospital acquired infections or HAIs. And um, ha proper hand washing compliance doesn't eliminate all of them, but it eliminates a lot of them. And I don't know if you know, Mark, 70 people, I've been told 70 people per day die in North America from hospital acquired infections. Yeah, I've, I've heard those numbers. So the ability to track uh, that somebody's actually a, a doctor or a nurse or a care provider has washed their hands uh, upon patient interaction is, is something that healthcare is looking to do as well. Well, and this would really help do that, right? By tracking how, clo how many times they went to a, a hand washing station, they'd be able to do that? Uh, it does. So you, yeah. you track at the hand washing station yeah. that they actually washed, and then the x rays combined with that type of a solution uh, track when they enter and exit rooms and I'm supposed to wash, you know, every time I um, enter a patient room or have contact with the patient or obviously touch a patient or come in contact right. with bodily fluids or blood and things like that. Sure. Now, Craig, would, would this also be applicable to uh, track patient flow as well if you had a, a tag on a patient, maybe the flow from how long maybe they were in an operating room or how long they were waiting for, for a particular service? Would you be able to use it for that? Yeah, absolutely. Anything yeah. that can um, improve logistics of patients um, and, and tracking patients. Uh, so you might say, well, the computer says they're supposed to be an x-ray or they're supposed to be an MRI, but are they? 
Right. And if they're not there, and I had a, a, a 20 minute window scheduled for the this precious MRI resource, you know, and the person's not there, it's really impactful. So the ability to know where the patients are, where they're supposed to be, where they're queued up. There's also things around all the Medicare meaningful use mm -hmm. laws and around um, uh, getting compensated from the government, which is critical for most healthcare providers. So there are things where patients leave without treatment. So there's a, a LOWT or, or LWOT, leave without treatment indicators, and it could have a negative impact on a provider's reimbursement rates from Medicare. Sure. So the ability to attract the queuing of patients is very critical as well. And, um, and the flow of the patients around. And then of course, tracking the patients themselves, if it's a dementia patient, or maybe yep. uh, involved in some of the the maternity tracking of babies for security and things sure. like that, there's opportunities there as well. Sure. I think it's um, a little bit early days for a lot of these things, but there's tremendous excitement in the Oh, I would space. imagine. And a lot of this is all made possible with the new technology, with the uh, x-ray. Uh, hospitals are, are yeah. certainly um, not going to walk around the facility with handheld readers. Right. Uh, they might use handhelds to track inventory, uh, like a retailer would, but for tracking patients, for tracking a hard assets like uh, IV pumps and, yep. and gurneys and wheelchairs, it's it's got to be always on infrastructure. Great. All right. Well, I think we're going to move on to some of the new, other new and exciting things at, at the Impinge booth. And thanks for sh sharing this with us, Craig. Okay.